What has happened in Italy over the last few months? We know that it went first into COVID very hard, a devastating loss of over 35,000 people. But now Italy seems to have basically refound itself in Europe. Yes, uh, certainly this is true. Uh, first of all, it helped a lot the money that is coming from uh, the European institutions. First and foremost, this year, the money from the European Central Bank. And also the, the prospect that next year there will be the money from the next generation EU, the recovery fund. But also after the very severe lockdown uh, in March and April, Italy was reopened. Uh, so the lockdown was severe, but it did not last uh, as long, uh, as much as in other countries. And this explains, in my view, why already in May and June you see some rebound. The summer is not uh, going very well in terms of tourism, for, in terms of foreign tourism. But domestic, Italians usually go abroad. This year they remain uh, in Italy, so it helps. I did something for that. I have been to Italy on my holidays with my family this year. So this foreign tourist did make it down thank to the you. south, I can assure you. Thank and you. it was, no, thank you. It was fantastic. But there is a problem. Tourism's down enormously as well. Um, uh, unemployment is steady around 10%, yes. but it's still much worse than many yeah. people uh, want it to be. There are problems with the deficit as well, again, around circa 10% as well. And the debts have picked up naturally from the very high 135 to an even higher 155, maybe 160% yeah. uh, of GDP as well. The fundamentals look bad for the Italian economy still. Yeah, indeed. I am worried about the medium term. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. I mean, so far, is better than, uh, than expected. Uh, we have to see in the medium term what is going to be critical is uh, whether Italy now takes this as an opportunity to introduce the reforms that are long overdue. Uh, infrastructure is one, uh, digital infrastructure, more uh, investment in human capital, research, uh, schools, something that has been missing. The reform of the bureaucracy, which is uh, red tape, is terrible in Italy. Uh, the reform of the justice system, all these things are needed to make sure that uh, Italy restarts, is not just a, a rebound from uh, the bottom, but we start growing much faster than in the last 10 years. That, that sounds great. But you and I probably had this same conversation pre-COVID. I certainly had this conversation with many of the other guests here for 10 years, Carlo, yeah. ever since the great financial crisis, we, you could have turned around and said, reform the justice system, reform the bureaucracy. Yeah. Why is, a, why is it going to happen now? There is one difference, and now we can rely on the money coming from Europe. And that money, however, is going to come only if reforms are implemented.